what's up guys this is Harit here so this here with me is my Google Nexus 4 and uh, we finally do have a Renegio 15.1 ROM for our Nexus 4 uh, it is not an official build but an unofficial build by Wano00 so I'll be linking the XDL link and the gaps in the description below so yeah do make sure to check it out but I just flashed it and I'll be showing you how to or what all is in the ROM and what all issues I faced while setting up this ROM as well so without any further ado let's get started so quickly jumping into settings uh, going into about system going to about phone and as you can see the android version is 8.1.0 and uh, the security patch level is also february 5th so as you can see android oreo and here is the easter egg so there we go so this is the 15.1 rom uh, i think it did came out today also first thing you should know is uh, the g apps uh, given in the xda page uh, are the open g apps which doesn't work actually so I'll be giving another link in the description for the G apps uh, which will definitely work with the lineage OS 15.1 uh, but I don't know why there's no play store given over here but we do have a browser so we could download the APK or we could transfer it from our PC uh, so jumping into settings real quick I already made a video for the Nexus 5x as well uh, stating all the new features on the lineage OS so I won't be going into that deep but uh, we have the battery percentage and stuff, adaptive brightness as you can see, uh, all the basic things that a ROM provides usually. Then going down we have display, uh, we I think do have the font size, uh, the display size as well. So it is default if I reduce it by one, it goes to small which actually suits this device well. Uh, so. <laughs> Yeah, double tap to sleep, double tap to wake and everything. Then if you go to developer options, uh, let's see the build date. I don't know why the Google stop uh, comes pop popping up. Sorry, build number. So tap it seven times. Going back, we have developer options. Uh, we have advanced restart. We have Android debugging and root access to ADB only. Uh, there we go. So that is a good thing so that's there then we have buttons so again customize the power button and the volume rockers as well as the nav bars so there, that's there then you have status bar again quick pull down from the right uh we have system icons which is basically the system ui tuner going back we have auto brightness which is the slider over here so if you don't want it you could disable that uh then you have network traffic monitor then going back we have gestures so jump to camera is double tap on the power button to go into camera so going into camera we'll talk about it uh, in a while so yeah these are all the basic features that we get through the lineage of 15.1 now jumping into camera real quick uh, there we go this is the latest lineage OS camera and not the google camera oh it is the google camera so okay but when i did flash it on my nexus 5x it was the uh, lineage OS camera but i think because it is an unofficial build uh, we have the google camera so there we go advance so yeah nothing uh, much here i mean we have the basic google camera that we had on our nexus devices so also the apps that we get pre-installed are quite a few browser calculator so these are none of the google apps these are all the lineage os app itself then if you go into device or the home screen settings we have the grid size we have the icon pack again the basic lineage os launcher that i showed in the previous video as well so too much to customize over here as you can see so that is a really really good thing so uh, now i'll talk about few issues that i faced or went through while installing this rom uh, first thing is the open g apps did not work at all the nano g apps didn't work the pico g apps didn't work i, I tried every g apps uh, none of them work open g apps tend to show uh, the uh, insufficient storage error so i flashed another g apps which i'll be linking in the description below so for you to flash as well uh, so when I flashed that, uh, I got an error of the setup wizard has stopped. So 
you probably will also get that error so i'll show you what to do when you face such error so if you're on the setup and if you select next and if you get an error called setup wizard has stopped uh, just do one thing boot into your uh, recovery so there we go restarting into recovery so make sure you're having the latest version as well uh, I've already shown how to flash it in my previous videos as well. So if you want to see that uh, just check out my previous videos But yeah, so first thing you have to do is go into mount and mount the system So just do that then go back Go into advanced go into file manager scroll down to system uh, scroll down to priv app uh, scroll down until you find the uh, setup wizard so i don't have it right now but you have to do is uh, because i de deleted that i don't have it so just have to do is go into the setup wizard for example uh, i'll go into system ui uh, and just hit on this button here and select delete and just swipe to confirm and once you delete it uh, go back go into wipe and swipe to factory reset and once that's done just reboot your system and everything will be done so yeah it is that simple uh so yeah i mean that's pretty much it for this rom i don't think i will make a review of this rom uh, because it is an access 4 device and i don't think anyone uses it but just to flash roms uh so yeah this is my initial video on the lineage os 15.1 which is android 8.1 for the nexus 4 and uh, yeah so far this device is holding really really good and yeah that's pretty much it thank you for watching this video uh, if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah again let me know what all videos you guys want to know or want to see in the future as well and i'll catch you guys in my next one